Hello everyone and welcome to another Teen Take and Make. Today we're going to make our own snow globes. In your kits you're going to find a jar and a small container full of sparkles. From home you're going to need a pair of scissors to forge some greens from outside, a hot glue gun, and some water. First things first, after you've foraged your greens from outside, we need to make sure they're going to fit in our jar. You can see I've got a little bit of pine and a little bit of boxwood because I like some variety. I also found these adorable pine cones which I think will suit my project. So I'm going to start by trimming my pine branch and you're going to see me just place it on the counter and then kind of take an eyeball measurement about how much of the bottom I need to cut off. So using my scissors I'm going to do that. When our snow globes are finished, they are going to sit exactly as the jar is now, so upside down. So once my branches are the correct level I need them to be, I'm going to glue them to the inside of the lid of the jar. Depending on the types of greens you forage, yours might look something like this. After giving your glue some time to dry, we want to make sure everything's securely attached to the lid. We're very gently going to put the lid on the jar just to make sure that all of our branches and everything we just glued to the lid fit nicely within the jar. You don't want anything to squish and you just want to make sure it looks how you want it to. That looks about right to me. Nothing's too squished and we're going to be able to see our sparkles once we put them in, which is our next step. So just gently remove your branches from the jar. You're going to take your water, fill your jar up, and then add your sparkles. The next and perhaps most critical step to this project is hot gluing your lid to the jar. This is why we're using a metal and glass jar so that that way the lid doesn't melt when we do this step. So you'll see me add hot glue all the way around the rim and then securely tighten the lid as best I can once your hot glue is dried, give your jar a little shake and you've got a DIY snow globe. We want to thank everyone for participating in another one of our virtual programs. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.